trail of serious damage remains after a severe weather system swept through southern, central, and eastern Ontario early this afternoon. Environment Canada issuing a series of watches and warnings calling for the possibility of high winds, rain, and large hail. We are also working to confirm whether the region saw any tornado activity. Okay, I hope I'm in the center of the frame, but I just wanted to share the story time about how I died almost by a thunderstorm a week ago. Let's start off right from the beginning of the day. I went shopping the night before. I put on some new clothes. I was really feeling myself, you know, like all dilly dallying, happy, happy. And then the weather is so, so nice in the morning. Look how gorgeous these flowers look. Oh my God. Spring is in full effect. Look at that, so pretty. Little do you know, this is Canada. Stuff changes in a minute. We went out and the car barely had any gas in it. It was like maybe like a quarter, less than a quarter left. And I'm like, okay, let's go to the gas station. I need to, you know, pump some gas in the car. Next thing you know it, whenever I go to the gas station, I don't like going inside and paying. But out of all days today, I go to the self, uh, the gas station where you can just, you know, pay right at the machine. But for some reason, machine didn't work. One, two minute difference really just changed the whole scenario of what happened. If I was able to pay for the gas right at the station instead of going inside to the clerk and paying, it would have been a totally different scenario. So I have to, um, you know, go inside and pay. There's this older guy, he starts getting lottery tickets. And you know, like they start doing the, you know, I don't know what it's called, like the draw, the raffle of the lottery tickets. And I'm just like hearing the sound, the lottery machine's going, you know, bling, bling you know like fails I guess and then it said win and I'm like okay find me and you have like four or five tickets Winner. I'm like god damn I just want to pay for my gas and go and pour my gas in finally after like a minute or two of him doing that and buying some more lottery tickets because there's only one clerk there a line started forming behind me and then because of that one two minute difference right when I stepped out of the gas station I get a, an alert and the alert's like um, something along the lines of thunderstorm, warning, take shelter. And I'm like, okay, you know, they're giving a warning. Usually when we get these type of warnings, I did think it was kind of serious because they said take shelter. But usually when we get these type of warnings, we get like at least, at least 30 minutes to like, you know, figure out the situation, right? Sort out the situation. No, 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 no. In this case, what happened was right the minute that I got the text, I start walking to the van. I'm like, I'm telling my mom, oh, look, I got a text. We have to go home quickly. You know, they're saying get shelter. Next thing you know, I, I start like jiggling the gas pump. For some reason, the gas pump got stuck. I was like shaking it, shaking it, shaking it, trying to like pull it out. Finally, I got the damn, the goddamn gas pump out and I started pouring it into the car. Next thing you know, it, a little bit of wind comes. A little bit of wind. I'm like, okay, you know, it's starting to pick up rain is gonna start coming let me quickly do this i'm pouring the gas so i'm just like waiting i have to basically fill the whole tank so i'm like waiting waiting i'm like okay pouring 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 next thing you know what a little bit more wind and then the wind just kept going up and up and up and up and up next thing you know it a huge gust of wind comes out of nowhere um wind everywhere dirt flying everywhere the god that pump was about to fall on me like everything was shaking like crazy Next thing you know, it was like a hundred kilometers per hour of wind. I have the pump in one hand. I have my glasses on in one hand. And I'm just like struggling. I'm like, which one do I keep? My pump, my glasses. I'm like, goddamn pump is gonna fall on us, fall on the car, fall on me. We're gonna die. I gotta goddamn hold and make sure I hold the, the pump thing tightly, securely in the car. And my goddamn glasses slipped away. Yes, indeed, I am using a fan for this shot. No, but seriously, my mom and me thought we were goddamn gonna die that day. Like, legit die. The way the car was like, like this, like going like that. Oh my god, I can't even describe it. Like, my mom, when she was in the car by herself, it was shaking so much more. Obviously, when I sat there, I always like put more weight in there. A lot of more weight. <laughs> and it's not a small car. It's literally a big van, like a soccer, you know, mom van, like the really huge ones. And it was going like this, 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 this. Next thing you know it, my glasses just fall and fly off my face. I'm blind without my glasses. Like right now I'm wearing contacts so I can see, but I am literally blind. I think my right eye is like negative four and my left eye is like negative 2.75, something like that. And I cannot see. It's like 
On top of that, imagine a severe like rain, even a little bit of hail, honestly, and um, dirt, debris everywhere. I couldn't see anything. I was cleaning out one day and I just saw these glasses in my cupboard. Thank God I remembered I had these glasses because I'm like blind and like thank God I kept these. So that I could like, you know, get home and actually see because I can't wear contacts all the time. They irritate my eyes. And um, essentially the um, when the wind started blowing, I had to I had to debate between holding on to the pump versus holding on to my goddamn glasses. Like I I had to like my glasses like were like this, next thing you know, like this, and they're like pew and they flew. I'm like, forget the damn glasses, right? Let me hold on to the goddamn pump. I don't want the whole pump to fall on us. Like the whole goddamn pump to fall on us. We're gonna get like suffocated by the pump. On one side, the whole gas station is about to fall on me. On the other side, the goddamn car is like seesawing on the side. It was so crazy. And my mom's just like, I'm like making eye contact with my mom. My mom's like, just like, you know, shocked. Let me just ask her what her point of view was. What happened? How can you know? No, Johnny. Oh, you know, good <laughs> oh my god yeah but then somehow we survived basically i just like laughing off my trauma so i'm like i just want to share this experience that i had because it's so hilarious like in the moment it was so scary but now looking back we can laugh about it because you know we survived Okay, first I was like uh, searching around for a little bit, you know, like, oh my god, maybe my glasses are somewhere here because I cannot see without my glasses. I can't drive without my glasses. Imagine so much rain, hail, wind on top of that. Like, it's so hard to already see. And then I'm blind on top of that. God damn it, I couldn't see a thing, but I was like searching for my glasses, like, you know, like looking around. I'm like, maybe I'll find my glasses. I, I didn't expect like, I had 1% hope that I could maybe get my glasses. But like 99%, I was sure my glasses were gone. My, I was about to fly off the ground. What are my barely, barely one pound, not even glasses? They're gone on the road. But then I'm like, okay, let me just try my luck. There's a motorcycle guy on the side. He like came, he just came into the huddle under the gas station and he's just looking at me. He's like, are you goddamn crazy? Go in your damn car. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for my damn glasses. I can't see. I can't leave without, you know, my glasses. Like, I can't see anything. How am I going to drive? Soaked. I was like drenched in water. When I tell you what I've been through right now. Sat in the car after just, uh, you know, looking in the vicinity a little bit for my glasses. Didn't find them. They were gone. Okay, so we waited in the car for like 10 minutes. We're not going to drive in this craziness right now. And then I think within like 10 minutes, um, the weather just got better, a little bit better. Like it was doable. It was drivable. And at that point, my mom's like, my mom's like, oh, let me get out of the car. You know, um, it was like drivable-ish, but it was still quite windy. My mom's like, let me get out of the car. You know, let me look for your glasses because my mom, my mom doesn't drive. She's like, let me get out of the car. Let me look for your glasses. Like I was thinking about like changing my glasses up, but I didn't know I was going to, you know, have to change my glasses up like this. Like, who knew? You know, I'm like, mom, sit back down in the car right now. I'm literally about to fly, standing there. You're gonna be gone. You're gonna be like blown away. Skinny, petite lady, flown away. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You stay in the car. Basically drove back home blind, made it home. Like I was driving so slow. I was like watching like, you know, people's car lights. The weather was way better be than before. It was still raining a little bit, but way better. And I'm like, okay, now it's our time to our cue to leave. Start driving. I'm like following everyone's lights so I could see and finally we made it home within like, it was literally two minutes from our house. So that's good. But then I get a text from my friend and she's like, the weather was crazy. And I'm like, crazy? I almost goddamn died in a storm. I figured out that her sister's window like uh, flew off because I guess it was open and it just like flew off. I was just like so shocked. I'm like, we actually made it home. Legit thought we were gonna die. When I got home, like my last video, I'm showing you guys, you know, summertime, setting up for the beautiful weather, you know, enjoy this weather with us type of situation. And now look what goddamn happened in the backyard. I got this clip right when I got home. The literal shed thing, I'm forgetting the term, but the literal, literal, oh, gazebo thing was literally almost about to fly off. If it wasn't tied to the wood parts uh, of the, of the, of the deck thing, it would have, 
that that would have been gone i literally saw a, a tiktok of a trampoline literally flying off of someone's yard like literally gone that would have been that freaking gazebo that gazebo would have been gone if it wasn't tied there like oh my god everything ruined in the backyard so ironic so you go from that to like this situation i literally swooped it like the next day and you know cleaned everything and it's like it's good again now like i have experienced like this strong of winds i think last year we had something similar happen the winds were probably even stronger than 100 kilometers per hour but i was not stuck in the gas station at that time i was home that was a totally different scenario for me at least i heard that two ladies actually passed away because trees fell on them so that's really sad so i hope they rest in peace like my condolences like my heart goes out to the people whose family they lost family members because of the situation but like this is just the tip of the iceberg like um people that experience like full blown full blown tornadoes like i just got a taste of it this was a little little tiny taste of it now like when you look at these videos any tornado videos now now i just can feel like intense it is in a sense like so basically i gotta order them uh, glasses very soon but i'm like i'm thinking about getting like a clear pair like this took me forever but i ended up getting these glasses i think they're pretty nice i like the shape and i feel like clear is like really in right now better than my crusty dusty glasses that i used to wear all the time the rectangle ugly frame and i like them and hopefully i get them in like three days but your girl finally ordered her damn glasses literally took me a month a damn month okay so i just wanted to share this story time with you guys and if you guys like this type of content you know real life content <laughs> story times and stuff like that subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next week so this video is going up on saturday i will see you guys next week on wednesday bye everybody i survived that's why i can have my biscuit and teas I love dipping my cookie in my tea. Mm.